Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's ZZ, and I'm actually back with my Prozac update. So I'm gonna be discussing my six week update. I was gonna do a month, but my doctor said technically it takes about six weeks for the prescription to kick in. So I was like, F it, I'll just wait. I'm not in a hurry. Well, I should be, but I wasn't in a hurry to record this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I've been on this medication for six weeks. All the side effects that I was having are all gone now. Everything's been easy peasy for the most part. But I want to speak to y'all about the positive effects that I've been having ever since I got on this prescription. So, if you see me looking over, I'm looking at my nose. So maybe I should put it down here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but turn the brightness down. Let's see. Hmm. You don't see it on my neck. Okay, there we go. Y'all see this in the camera? No, y'all can't. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. Okay. Okay, so the reason I was taking the prescription or I'm taking this is because I've already told y'all this, but if y'all don't know, it's for depression and anxiety. I'll link the video below in the bottom. Anyway, so. On this prescription, I'm less anxious, of course. Like, it helps a lot with anxiety. Um, it's not 100% yet, so my doctor told me if it's not working like 100%, call her and um, she'll up the dosage. So, I have to do that because, I mean, I can feel it working, but it ain't all the way working because I still be anxious, but it's pretty good. It's better than I was doing, like, pre previously, Previously, I was taking CBD oil for about a year, actually. And I feel like it's working better than a CBD oil. Actually, I know it's working better than a CBD oil. But other positive benefits, I feel content with myself. I feel happy. Like, I used to always obsess about, like, um, my looks and stuff. And... Maybe it's the prescription, maybe it's not. I think it is, cause I didn't start feeling this way too recently. I used to always obsess about my weight, my weight. And now like when I started this prescription, I actually did end up losing a bit of weight and I also got sick, so that didn't help. And normally I'd be freaking out like, oh my God, they gained weight back, they gained weight back, but I don't care. I'm like, wow, I mean, I look good. I look good, baby, I look good. I think I look good. I just feel very confident also in myself. The things that I say and how I feel, um, I'm more calmer. I'm more rational, definitely. Very much more. Does that make sense? Very much more rational. Like the way that I think is rational, because it normally isn't. And I know it's not, but it's like I can't control my thoughts. Well, at least I haven't learned how yet. And what else? I'm chill, I'm more calm. I don't overthink stuff as much and obsess over stuff as much. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but if you go through this, then you understand. It's like everything that anyone says to me, like everything, yeah, everything that anybody says to me or anything that anybody does, I analyze it piece by piece by piece in my mind and it makes me mad because then I end up getting mad about stupid stuff it drives me insane I can't ever just have a conversation with somebody without thinking about every little detail and I don't just think about it temporarily I think about it the whole day the whole week the whole month and it will drive me insane and like my feelings would stay hurt because if someone's tone was just slightly different, I would overanalyze it and take it personal and then the whole day ruined because it's something this tiny. I'm like, I have to start stop putting things that occur in my day that last like less than a minute, less than five minutes at the, the whole day, you know? I gotta stop that. And I feel like I've been doing pretty good. I feel like I have. Cause normally I hear my little voice in my head talking all day over analyzing everything and driving me crazy to the point where I can't even focus on like what I'm doing. I'm thinking about this stupid stuff, but it's 
got all better thanks to duoxetine. But anyway, what else? I, overall, I just feel great. Like, I'm not as anxious. I'm gonna ask my doctor to up my dosage, so I'll probably be feeling even better, but my anxiety is pretty controlled. I'm able to socialize with folks. I'm able to go places alone, not with people with me. That's a bonus because like, if I'm not on this or if I'm not taking, um, what's it called? CBD oil, then none of that's happening. I'm not talking to nobody. If I do end up having to talk to somebody, I'm extremely uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. Um, when I go to stores, it's a lot better. It's not all the way better, but it's better than normal. But it's getting better, bro. Like, it's not all the way there. I got a lot of work to do. But hmm, I would say, I would give it like a seven out of 10. I feel like I can get a 10 out of 10 if I get my doses up. But once I do, we'll discuss that. But overall, I feel a lot better. My my brain feels a lot better. I feel like my mind is able to relax, be at ease for the first time ever because it's normally like on overdrive thinking about stupid stuff. Things that piss me off and drive me crazy. Things that don't matter. But what else I want to talk about with y'all? I don't know. My thoughts are controlled, rational. I said that. But another thing I want to mention is I think I'm going to start therapy. I think I'm going to start therapy. It's something that I've considered doing, what I've wanted to do, but it was too expensive. But I think I may have found somebody I can go see. I have a consultation tomorrow. And after that, I'm going to start going to appointments. But baby, 2020, I'm thinking my mind right. I'm thinking my mind right. I'm gonna have a mental glow up and I can't wait. I can't wait. I deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> we all deserve to be at peace in our mind, our thoughts, and everything surrounding that. But anyway, that's all I want to talk to y'all about. Um, please follow me, not follow, yeah, whatever. Please subscribe, turn my notifications on, share with somebody, tell a friend to tell a friend, um, comment, like, follow my Instagram and my Twitter at punkgirlsclick, and that's it, we out. <laughs>